Mula and welcome back to the Lands at 177. Um, here having a discussion with the uh, artistic director and co-founder of uh, renowned New Zealand uh, theatre company, The Conch, um, Nina Nawalawana, mm. who um, came into the country to um, uh, screen her latest project, a film called A Boy Called Piano. At 11 years old, I'd already been to the boys' home. At 12, I was made a state ward. And, you know, we spoke the last time about what you hope to do with the, with the film, with the documentary, and uh, I just wanted to ask, how did the screening go? What was the response like? Oh, well, it was um, overwhelming. It was wonderful. You know, you always um, hope to get um, a lot of um, diverse audience. Yes. And so, of course, uh, Ben, with his following with the film festival, he has all of the people that um, are interested in films. Right. And then there were some wonderful Fijian artists that I've worked with. Um, and then, of course, there is the diplomatic um, audience yes. and um, and then of course having um, you know this timing to do with human rights uh, there's a lot of interest so mm. it was really um, really wonderful to place it in front of um, a full audience of all types of people yeah. that live in Fiji yeah. um, and and I you know you always learn a lot because you, you it's always about listening to um, your own work with a sort of you know a new audience yes. so it was um it was very moving oh. um, and a real honor to um to play you know to yeah. share the work yeah. you, you, you know um, i'm sure you would have been watching the audience's reaction yes did you feel like they connected with the movie because it's about uh, a someone man yes who came to new zealand in the 1950s and yes as you yes. explained and the challenges he faced yes uh, you know, going into gangs and yes. all that, and then ending up in prison. Yes. And then um, reforming himself and yeah. writing a book. Yes. Did you feel like the people here connected with the, with the theme of the movie? Yeah, I think it's. Um, I think you know, a Pacific man having the uh, courage to share his own truth um, is is very liberating mm. for um, for people, for Fijian people. Yeah because it's quite rare, isn't it, that yes. uh, you open up your uh, deep, you know, your deepest um, mm. hurts or things that have happened to you. And so um, it, was, um, it was very special and powerful because there are many stories here mm. everywhere in the world, I mean, um, on, in all parts of society. Um, but there are many people here that, of course, have family members in prison and um, different things that have happened and these are such private, um, so, you know, very private. So to, to be able to open it up frees people to yeah. um, to feel seen or to feel that they're not alone. Um, yes. But um, yeah, it was, um, it, it, was, it, was <coughs> it was good. It's good for people to um, even if it pushes the boundaries, yeah. it's good for people yeah. to hear hear his truth. And and I think one of the things that people enjoyed is the generational story. Yes. That was something that really stood out and stood out for people as seeing the son and then seeing the grandson and the grandson being able to who has not taken the same the path, same path. Yes. you know, and his father, you know, Matthias took that path and found his way out, yeah. became an actor and and then for Tane to um, to own the past, mm. which he says, and then go into the future, and I think that touched a lot of people's hearts here. Mm. And, yeah. Mm. Mm. I, I also understand you mm. um, got to visit the Samambula Juvenile Detention Centre. Um, you know, it's unfortunate that we have a, a quite a large number of youths that lose their way yeah. and you know have strayed off the path and uh, yeah. end up in places like that. Yeah. Some end up in prison later on in life. So yeah. what was that experience like? Oh, well, um, it was a privilege to go because, um, you know, Whapamuana's journey started in the boys' homes. Right. And so to go into any boys' homes anywhere in the world mm -hmm. 
um, is is so moving uh, yeah. to take to go in and take his story in there. And so it's my first time to go into a Fijian detention centre mm. for youth. I've been, you know, I've been in detention centres in New Zealand and, mm. um, and in England and places. And so, yeah, I mean, the boys are, um, you know, they're young and they have found themselves in situations and, um, and they, were, um, they were wonderful to meet. Um, the different ages of, yes. of young men and um, and um, and they you know I, I sort of thought oh I wonder if they can understand all the English you know mm. when they're yeah. watching it but it's a very mm. visual film and yeah. so um, and so they were great they you know they took different things from it yeah. and then at the end um, I asked them all to introduce themselves yes. and to tell me one thing that they liked yes just to have courage and say one thing that they could see there and um, it's interesting you know a lot of them talked about these horses in the film that are free and running mm. um, there's a lot of water and ocean mm. um, there's um, uh, you know things with freedom it was mm. interesting they pick up on the things of freedom yes. and, and um, nature mm. which of course these are the things they miss yes. when they are not with their families, when they're not in the village, when they're, lo you know, locked up. Yeah. Uh, that's what yeah. children miss. And that was, a, that was a real decision when we made the film. I thought, yeah. you have to have nature and you have to have these things. And then, of course, um, I did reenactment with the boy running and then they sing, you know, they could sort of see themselves with the running. Right. And I used running a lot of, because, you know a lot of young people they want to run away and they want to run home right. and so i did a lot of filming with running over the beach and yes. and they got to see the new zealand beach right. and you know it's different yeah. from here but yeah. still the running away yeah. 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 yeah so um so they were brave because they all spoke and stood up and spoke yeah. which is yeah. which is very brave to do you yeah. know but it was a great experience and it was great to share it with the staff as yeah. well Mm. Uh, 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 during our discussion off camera, you know, I did mention that I, th I think your, the timing of your being here is uh, it's, it's not a coincidence. Mm. Uh, there's a lot that I think you can do with our people here, women and children, the violence against women and children, youths who have strayed from the path. So, you know, is there a likelihood of you returning to Fiji to come and do something like that? Uh, well, that is a part of coming. It is, um, I would love to do that because, yeah. um, you know, these are the stories that need to be told and, yeah. and it helps with healing and it helps with um, society. Right. Because if you put things, open them up and make a film or tell your own story, yeah. um, it can create some change or it can create um, sharing and um, and as I said to the boys yes. you know there are boys all over the world who are in homes yes. and you you, have, you tell your story it's, it's from your heart yeah. it can be the same as other people all over the world but I would you know I'm very keen to come and um, and collaborate with women here yeah especially to do with um, these taboo subjects and yes. how to um, how to make stories or to make some films and things that can contribute because mm. I know there are a lot of wonderful people here working in yes. this area yeah. but I think um, I could offer my skills yes. and my skills in um, making art and things that can hold a mirror up to society and as I said last time, it's not about blaming. Right. It's not about blaming yes. anybody or blaming things. It's about reflecting or putting something in front of a community, mm. which is important, um, I believe. Yes. Yeah. Uh, 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 Farah Moana's mm. uh, story, mm. uh, you know, how he went through the whole um, challenges he faced as a youth and uh, reformed himself and wrote the book and you know all that whole journey um, I think it can maybe inspire some of yeah. our Fijian people yeah. who maybe in prison or in detention yeah. centers 
or maybe at home going through similar challenges. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Do you hope to see more movies that tell real stories, Fijian stories? Yes. Come out soon? Yes, that is the key. Yeah. It's yeah. The key is to for Fijian people to, and there are a lot of people here telling their own stories and yeah. exploring that. But I think um, that is the unique thing, isn't it? Yes. Of um, of identity yeah. is from your own culture and from your own heart and. Um, and Fijian stories, of course, there's incredible, incredible, successful, unbelievable mm -hmm. athletes and artists and um, all sorts of people. But it's the uh, it's the hidden stories and the things that um, haven't been told yeah. that are um, imp just as important mm -hmm. for us to look at. So, um, so yeah, I think um, it's it's a necessity in these times yes. as a society. Yeah. Like it is for us in New Zealand, yeah. like like everywhere in the world, isn't it? I mean, violence doesn't choose people who have poverty. It doesn't choose it. it violence is is happens from the wealthiest people in the right. world yes. to people, all sorts of people. It's, right. It doesn't select, um, but it's yes. a real issue in the world, isn't right. it? So, yes. I think putting a light on these things is um, is important. Yeah. You know, I, I, yeah. I also understand you had a. Um, a workshop with some of our local filmmakers here. Yeah. Mm. How, how did that come about and what was that like? Well that, that is through the film festival here and yeah. of course through the New Zealand High Commission. They're very keen to look at New Zealand-Fiji relations right. and how we can uh, work together yeah. and so it was great to meet some emerging filmmakers here and, um, and hear their stories and yeah. um, and think about you know listening to where they're coming from and what stories people want to tell here and right. some of them want to do documentaries yeah. some of them want to do drama and, and um, some of them are making animations I mean there's yeah. some incredible I mean they are of course they are the now and they yes. are the future and so um, I suppose for me being an older artist it's how to um, how I can connect people through to New Zealand or internationally right. um, to get help get Fijian stories out there. Yeah. Yeah. Have, yeah. have you mm. had the opportunity to view any of our local movies or short movies? Um, yeah, I, I, I was, some of them were, you know, showing yeah. little bits of things today and that sort of thing and um, and of course Larry Thomas who right. was a um, great, uh, you know, Fijian playwright and, and writer, um, I'll be meeting him and, and um, and of course him being a very senior artist, um, mm. listening to where he is up to with his storytelling and, yes. um, and so I think working with young people and I think the most important thing is just to do it. Yeah. You yeah. know, we can think, oh we haven't gone to film school, oh we don't have this, you know, just make it how we want to make it and offer it because that is our point of difference. Mm -hmm. Um, and some, you know, there may be resources, there may be not resources, but I think the most courageous thing is just to believe in how you want to tell your own story, right. which is what I was, you know, saying from my own experience. I hadn't made a documentary before, right. and I, you know, you just have to make that leap, don't you, and yes. think it's, it's important what you've got to tell. Yes. I think you could, you know, I think having experienced cinematographers and people like that, I, I have had a very great experienced team right. around me. Right. So as a first timer, having experienced makers um, is part of the success of things. Mm. It's not just me and my vision, right. it's every, you know, there's mm. a lot. And then of course the subject is the man yes. having the courage. Um, but you just want to... Um, you just want people to, I think it's it's waiting to happen, isn't it? Pacific yeah. stories, you know, more and more coming through yeah. on the global stage, right. yeah. Um, mm. your, your own story, has that ever been documented or captured on film? Your, your story of finding your link, uh, tracing your roots back to Fiji? No, no. Right. <laughs> so, do you know, will there be a, a time when we mm. might see Nina and all one of story? Uh, <laughs> find out about, you know, how yeah. I got to mm. Noah, mm. travel mm. from Kalau uh, mm. all the way mm. to New Zealand. I mean, I would, you know, honouring mm. my own, my father is a very deep in my heart yes. because, you know, he, he, you know, he was one of these first 
Fijian men that went out there and uh, have the courage to, you know, go and train as he wrap it up. Mm. Sorry, I shouldn't say that. Mm. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and um, and so yeah, I would love to honour his story, yes. and that is something that is um, a big life goal for me is mm. to tell his story. And have you been mm. back to the village? Uh, not this time. I have been to yeah back to Tavuki. Yes. Yeah, I have been there. Well, well, and, um, what was it like going back? after say, a, a long period of time, what was that like? I mean, I've only been there a couple of times, yes. but um, every time it is just so moving. Mm. Oh, I mean, these are my people and these are all my family there and um, and I love it that it's so uh, different in the village in the yeah. old way, you know, the traditional mm. things and there's so much for me to learn. Mm. So I know there is a lot of changes and all of that, but um, that is my goal is to mm. return next year and mm. um, and go and start to begin to, you know. And, and maybe document it? Yeah, well. absolutely. Yeah, yeah totally, yeah. totally, you know, yeah. Do, do they understand, you know, what you're trying to do in terms of getting uh, those difficult stories out? Do they understand that concept and the work that you do? Um, I, I, um, I'm not quite sure because I haven't been back recently yeah. and um, and I, you know, one is always nervous yes. about, um, yeah, telling things that are uh, taboo. But I think seeing the film, right. it, you can explain things to people, can't you? But seeing a film yes. is the best way to share your views. Well, mm. for myself, you yeah. know, just let people judge for themselves mm. rather than tell people what to think. Just let them see your art or your story. And But for me, it's very... Um, positive because it's Fatmoana's story yes. and it's not about me, it's about him, it's about hundreds of young people yeah. and it's about all the young people now in detention centres and making sure they are looked after in the right, we're putting a light on it right. because we cannot ignore these things. Yeah. Um, so, um, so I think if we think about young people um, then you know, people will understand that it's necessary. Right. Yeah. Um, mm. I, I had the opportunity to visit um, uh, Natambu prison a few years ago when mm. uh, Mr. Navalarua was the mm. commissioner of prisons. Mm. And one thing that stood out, uh, the prison population was predominantly Italke people yes. and young people, was their stories when they stood up to explain how they ended up uh, being incarcerated was absentee fathers, yeah. fathers not being around. Yeah. And I, you know, after meeting you, I thought yeah. that'd be a good yeah. movie. Yeah. Know, uh, you know, dance, yeah. Just not being there. Yes. Yeah. I mean, um, yeah, having a father figure and a role model in your life, isn't it? And mm. the necessity for young men. Yes. Um, but I think um, one of the things is highlighted from taking the film is the indigenous people that are in prison yes. globally right. you know you know in australia in yes. canada in new zealand and you start to see a big global pattern and you think why is this why? are we all the bad people right. how, how can that be that's right. the question i go yes how's that possible uh, we don't know the answers or we we right. don't want to always say them but right. the facts are the facts yes. isn't it yes. Um, like you say, I mean, we haven't had the chance to go into a Fijian prison, yeah. and that is a great goal for us. Yes. We would love that that um, we could share the film in the future because yeah. of but mine have been Samoan, and um, there are Fijian people that have come to New Zealand, and right. of course, some of them fall through the cracks as well. And there are yeah. Fijian men in prison in New Zealand, right. and so it's not just a one person's story. There are many immigrant stories like this. That'll make uh, yeah. be a good subject yeah, for that's uh, right. the movie and mm. uh, documentary. That's right, yeah. that's right. But anyway, it's been a pleasure speaking Thank to you, you uh, Nina. Mm. And uh, please do um, go on YouTube and uh, search for Nina's work. There's mm. a whole wealth of work out there mm. with uh, movies that mm. she's produced and the mm. theatrical productions as well. Thank you very much. Thank you for so being much. Being yeah. Thank you. Nothing. Thank you so much. You. And you can watch this show and others like it on our YouTube channel. Please visit our uh, website.
www.fijitimes.com and our social media platforms on Facebook and Twitter. Good night.